am Zoe. I work with Chep Good Foods, and uh, Chep is a nonprofit organization here in Saskatoon, and we do a lot of work within food security. And my name is Justice. Uh, this is my second summer here. I was an intern last year for the Ski Project, which is a program that Chep Good Food Inc. puts on every summer. Um, so CHEP does a variety of different food security programs from community fresh food markets to good food boxes uh, to supporting seniors and schools with food access programs and then we also contribute to urban, urban agriculture within the city of Saskatoon by supporting the community garden program which we have over 53 different gardens in the city um, as well as the Ski project which we are currently on our main growing site for that project which is an internship program to educate and empower youth around growing fresh food. So the space that we're currently in, this garden, as Zoe had alluded to, um, is the Askew Project's garden. Um, we call this garden Kisaganis, which is a Cree word for like vegetable garden. Um, yeah, and uh, the thing is, as you can see, there is like all these blue barrels that we have here. Uh, this site used to be a brown site and uh, with an oil company that packed up, you know, a couple decades ago and just de de uh, decontaminated the soil. So that's why we do, this is called container gardening. And what we do is we have over 430 barrels of containers, half containers, and we just put the soil in. And, you know, this actually show, this is part of like the urban uh, horticulture way of like uh, doing container gardening that we're able to take up space or, you know, uh, accommodate space, you know, for garden or for growing food. So, yeah. Um, we have a number of other materials that have been upcycled. Um, where we're standing right now, we've got uh, a bathtub that has been planted. We call it the mint tub because we've always planted mint there to help keep it contained. Um, and then we've also got a couple of other uh, beds here that are made of reclaimed materials from shelving in a, a tool store that was donated to us. Um, and then we're very fortunate each summer that interns come to this space. Um, they each complete some projects that really leave their own mark on this space. So we've got a, a child-friendly sensory garden with some American Sign Language um, as an accessible space with different sensory plants. Uh, we've got a bean teepee in the back that one of our interns uh, built two summers ago. Um, we've had signs put in uh, with interns bringing in their own culture and language. So we've got signs in both Cree and Diné throughout the garden. Um, and then we also have seen interns come up with uh, really interesting ways of companion planting and planting other different crops in the garden as well. Well, one of the things that I want to point out is, you know, the central to this garden is the medicine wheel garden. So what the medicine wheel garden uh, entails is that uh, it points out the four directions, you know, of, of you know, the world. And uh, in each um, direction, we have designated a medicine that is uh, part of that, that direction, you know, like in we have like sage, we have tobacco. Unfortunately, we don't have cedar and sweetgrass yet. You know, we've tried other plants like yarrow and like raspberries and strawberries. But uh, yeah, I think it's just a way to incorporate uh, and bring and educate, you know, the culture of uh, the, the treaty land that we're on. And this space is a, a vacant lot. It's owned by the city of Saskatoon. We're fortunate to have a lease on this site, but it is open to the public. Folks are welcome to come and check out the space. Um, we do ask that you uh, come and look and don't taste because we do grow the food for CHEP's food programs um, and it is needed for those, but uh, it is open. So CHEP's food programs, we provide a variety of services in Saskatoon. Uh, we do school brown bag lunch programs. We do community food markets, uh, good food box program, which is a, a box of low cost fresh produce um, that folks are able to access. Uh, we also do senior stores where we bring fresh food to seniors in uh, residences um, and we also provide many educational opportunities. Um, with COVID and the pandemic, most of our programming has shifted to more of a delivery basis, um, but we are looking at uh, re-offering some of those programs in the fall. Um, the food from this garden does go into CHEP's food program, so they just mentioned, uh, with any additional produce uh, we have in the past sold it to restaurants or directly to consumers as a way to raise income for this project to keep us going and keep it sustainable. 
say Zoe. Yes, Justin. With all this food growing in the garden, do you think the Ski Project is going to have their own box? Yes, the Ski Project is going to have their own, their own box. I'm glad you mentioned that. We uh, are hoping to, in August, for the month of August and early September, have uh, fresh food boxes that we sell directly to consumers uh, through our Facebook page. So do keep a lookout for that and we'll be selling those in the next couple of weeks getting those boxes out. Yeah. One of my favorite things about, you know, garden food is the quality of taste, you know, so I think it would be just a real treat to, you know, check out the Ski Project food box that Chep will be offering, you know, in the next month. Thanks, Thanks for, for checking, checking out our garden! garden.